Are you looking for the most immersive movie watching experience in your living room? Do you want to be able to watch four games all at once on the same screen? Let's take a look at Epson's new LS800 Super Ultra Short Throw Projector and see if this will be the ultimate TV replacement for your living room. The Epson Epic Vision LS800 is a front-facing super ultra short throw laser projector designed to replace your TV with a huge HDR 4K image. It comes bundled with an optional 100 inch or 120 inch silver flex ultra ambient light rejecting screen or ALR screen, which most will find to be the sweet spot for their situation. As a laser projector and projection screen solution, its system combines a new type of super ultra short throw laser array projection technology with an immersive ambient light rejecting screen. Together, the system is capable of producing vivid colors and deep blacks. Even in rooms with a lot of ambient light, you get an exceptionally bright, colorful, and sharp 4K image. To make this level of immersion possible, there's two important ingredients involved. A powerful light laser engine that will project a bright HDR 4K image and never requires lamp replacements, and two, a specially made ambient light rejecting screen intended only for ultra short throw projectors, which allows the image to look as good as a TV. With a fairly minimal setup process, you can turn your family room into an immersive movie theater. There's even a special high performance gaming mode on board that will lower the input lag and optimize the projector's fast refresh rate so you have a leg up on your competition. The projector spans about 27 inches wide and almost 14 inches deep. At about 6 inches tall, the modern low profile design will look great sitting on an existing media console. It's available in white or black, so you can be sure it'll match just about any decor. One of the huge upgrades from the Epson LS500 is the distance that you need between the projector and the wall. They don't call it a super ultra short throw for nothing. For reference, the LS500 needed to be 35 inches off the wall to produce a 120 inch image. With the LS800, you only need 20.2 inches are needed from the wall to the lens to create a 120 inch image. This is one of the shortest throw distances for any projector on the market right now. And this is a huge feature because it allows you to keep your existing furniture and place the projector on your current media console rather than buying an extra deep piece of furniture just to accommodate for the throw distance. The Epson Silver Flex Ultra ALR projection screen Epson recommends with the LS800 is a special ambient light rejecting screen designed specifically for ultra short throw projectors. The screen features a thin bezel design and a dark gray surface which looks similar to a modern flat panel TV. But unlike a modern OLED flat panel TV, the Silver Flex screen is layered with a sawtooth light accelerating optical pattern that is designed to reject ambient light hitting its surface and this focuses the picture towards the viewing area. Not only does this design reduce washout from ambient light, but the screen's dark surface also produces an image with excellent contrast in brightly lit rooms, so you always get a beautiful picture with great off-access viewing. You could put the LS800 and the screen in any room in your home, including a well-lit living room like we have here, without needing to draw the curtains or dim the lights. It will, of course, have a brighter image when the lights are dimmed, but this makes it fantastic for a game day when you want to have four games on all at once on the same screen with the blinds open and all the lights on. It just really looks incredible. Now there are two optional screen sizes to pair with the LS800 projector. A 100 inch display for a super wide 16.9 image or if you have the wall real estate like you can see behind us, you can step it up to the 120 inch display. If you need help deciding on the right screen size for you, you can use our free home theater design tool to figure out which size is best for your room. Just simply plug in your room dimensions and all the other information and then increase and decrease your screen size to get a sample of what it might look like. You can even take a look from the main viewing position and it'll tell you how immersive it will be in your room. Now to access the LS800's connections, there's a small switch here that you'll press. The side panel will come off, attached by a wire so you won't drop it and lose it anywhere. Here's the focus and all the connections are back there, nice and hidden. And when you're done, you can easily attach it back. 
There's also two USB Type A ports, three HDMI 2.0 ports, an optical out, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a USB DC out, and a USB Type B port for servicing the unit. Since the projector is capped at 60 hertz in 4K, we don't really have a huge problem with it not having any 2.1 HDMI inputs. Moving over, sitting at just a short distance from the wall, the Epson Super Ultra Short Throw Lens utilizes a proprietary multi-element precision glass structure to produce a high resolution 4K image with clarity and edge-to-edge -edge uniformity for an incredibly immersive viewing experience that is up to four times larger than a 60-inch TV. The LS800 uses a laser diode light source that has a life expectancy of up to 20,000 hours. Now to put that into perspective, you could run this projector for eight hours a day, five days a week, for 10 years before you'd have to worry about any sort of issues. The LS800 also boasts a maximum brightness of 4,000 lumens, one of the brightest ultra short throw projectors available on the market by far. To help you get the best performance from this powerful light source, it comes pre-configured with four picture modes, dynamic, vivid, cinema, and natural, that are designed for different applications. With four color modes to choose from, there's sure to be one that is perfect for your room, or you can easily switch modes during the day or at night. Now, all this brightness is complemented with a 2.5 million to one dynamic contrast ratio. Super impressive. The LS800 utilizes a three LCD projector chipset, one for each primary color, while most ultra short throws use a DLP based chipset. One of the advantages of having a three LCD chipset in a ultra short throw versus a DLP is that there is no color wheel, which means you will not have to endure the dreaded rainbow effect. Compared to DLP based projectors, the three LCD configuration also means that the LS800 stands out in its price category by giving you great white balance, brightness, and contrast. To give you a sharp, natural 4K picture, Epson precisely controls the three high-definition LCD chips to double the number of on-screen pixels per frame using an advanced pixel shifting and imaging process called 4K Pro UHD Enhancement. The tech trickles down from Epson's most expensive projectors and shifts each pixel to double the full HD resolution on the screen. While the resolution enhancement isn't based on native 4K imaging chips, as found in much, much more expensive projectors, costing upwards of $10,000 and higher, the difference is almost impossible to detect at a normal viewing distance for considerably less money. The result is a super ultra short throw projector capable of a sharp 4K image with brighter colors that pop off the screen and look awesome even in a well-lit room. Now, another incredible feature on board is the full 10-bit HDR color processing that accepts 100% of an HDR source. When you combine this with the extreme brightness of 4,000 lumens, HDR content is faithfully reproduced for an incredible viewing experience. The LS800 also has real-time 10-bit analog to digital video processing, which creates smooth tonal transitions and helps eliminate banding, blocking, and other compression artifacts from the image. Now, we noticed this most when we were watching sports where there's a lot of action happening on the screen. You can see this technology really go to work and make everything just look buttery smooth without compromising any quality. As you might expect, the LS800 supports HDR content with just about all of the most popular streaming platforms. There's also voice search with the remote's built-in Google Assistant and Chromecast, so you can quickly cast photos, videos, and music from a computer or your phone to the big screen. However, we see most people will probably connect up their Roku, Apple TV, or Amazon Fire Stick instead of using the actual Android OS built-in, but it is a nice feature to have. Another key feature of the LS800 compared to other ultra short throws in a category of similar price is the low input lag, which is under 17 milliseconds for high speed 4K resolution at 60 frames per second. And if you're a sucker for high frame rates, you can lower it to 1080p and get 120 hertz and 100 frames per second. That's extremely impressive. We recommend you stick with 4K for casual gaming, but if you want a bit more competitive gameplay and you're okay with 1080p image, then just keep it at that for more frames and an even quicker gameplay. The LS800 is equipped with a 2.1 channel speaker system behind the front grill cloth. Yamaha's unique FR port technology gives you an all-in-one sound solution built right into the LS800. We think it is a nice feature to have for someone who doesn't have an audio setup 
yet, as it will provide you with decent sound that has, sounds a lot better than any TV speakers. However, with this immersive of a 4K picture, an external sound system is absolutely essential. For our testing, we paired it with an Ankyo NR5100 receiver, two Heiko Aurora 1000 floor standing speakers, a Heiko center channel, and one Heiko 30A subwoofer. This brought a movie theater experience right into the living room. We found this pairs up with Heiko perfectly with the LS800. You get incredible quality at a really good price. Everything from the setting up the LS800 projector to the assembly, the hanging, and the alignment of the silver flex screen took us a couple of hours with two people. If you don't mind a little bit of DIY work in the setup, our tips and tricks video that we made for the previous version, the LS500, will get you up and running in no time. We also have an entire page on audioadvice.com dedicated to the setup to help you out. And when you purchase from Audio Advice, our experts are just a call or chat away from helping you with any further questions that you might have. Now Epson shipped us the LS800 early for testing and they included a 120 inch screen for us to demo it on. We used a living room that already had a 75 inch Sony TV installed and since the owner was renting the space, they weren't able to use a front projector and run the cables through the walls, but they wanted a larger image to immerse themselves in movies and they also wanted to watch multiple games all at once on the same screen with their friends. Well, the LS800 seemed to be a perfect upgrade for them, so that's exactly where we set it up. All right, so I wanna show you where we actually set up the LS800 on the existing media console. So originally we had a center channel up here and all we did was move it down and it still works perfectly right here. We threw some foam in to reduce some resonance so it doesn't shake the projector with any loud scenes. We moved the receiver down to the bottom with the Roku mounted on the side. And the Epson LS800 has these really easy small feet here that you can just easily spin to adjust and get your screen perfectly right. There's another one on the front to move it up and down. So when you're setting it up, you'll see in the instructions, it's pretty simple. You just set it up, you can adjust these, move it back and forth on your console exactly how you want it, get it optically as close as you can, and then you'll go into the settings and you're able to move the corners in or out just a touch to make it fit perfect to the screen depending on where it's placed on your console. It was actually pretty easy to set up and a little bit of fun to mess with for the next couple of hours and make sure it was perfectly how we wanted it. Now after taking some time to get this perfectly calibrated and fit to the screen how we wanted it, we did notice there is a little bit of a trade off with having an exposed short throw projector up front open to the rest of your living room. If a kid or a dog or even one of your friends bump into it and move it in just the slightest, it may project your image off the screen and become uncalibrated. So it's best practice. You're gonna to wanna to mark where these legs are, even put some adhesive on the bottom or something to keep it perfectly steady. And just know if it does get bumped out of the way, you'll probably have to put it back in that original position and calibrate it again. But it is a pretty quick process and once you kind of know what you're doing, you can do it pretty easily. So just another trade-off, you gotta keep that in mind with ultra short throw front projectors. We spent many hours with the lights on and the blinds open watching news, sports, primetime shows, and of course HDR movies on Netflix, Hulu, and HBO Max. And even in our brightly lit room where there's a lot of natural sunlight shining through the windows, overhead lights beaming down from the ceiling, colors remained vibrant and the image was never washed out. HBO content popped off the screen with just great color. Just a really quick note about the ambient light rejecting screen. You wanna make sure that you're not touching it with your bare hands as the oils on your fingers can leave a smear on it. Only touch it by the black metal edges or make sure you have some gloves on if you have to move it. When you're cleaning it, don't go in circles or up and down, only go left or right with the slightest amount of pressure you can get away with with a super high quality microfiber cloth. You just wanna take good care of this screen because anything that you do incorrectly could potentially damage it. So just make sure you follow those steps and you should be good to go. And to experience just how immersive the 120 inch 4K picture really is, we checked out the new movie Elvis on HBO Max. The sheer enormity of a 120 inch screen in our living room was just exhilarating. To get the very best experience, we do recommend turning off the lights and closing the blinds and using cinema mode. Serious movie watching is generally a nighttime activity anyways, so we didn't really have a problem creating a very dark controlled environment when we wanted to just dive in and watch a movie. Now when we finished setting up the projector and the screen and the audio system, it sounded and looked pretty good. 
But to bring it to that next level, we highly recommend you go to our YouTube playlist where we have the top five video tips and audio tips with test patterns, audio tones that will dial in your system to look and sound its very best. I do have to say, after using this playlist right on YouTube, it did look and sound a whole level better. So we absolutely recommend if you're setting up your TV or projector, go check out that playlist. Now, we all know that an OLED TV will look more vivid with deep silky blacks and an incredible dynamic range, but in the business of high-end 4K TVs, screen real estate is typically sold at a premium. As you get into larger and larger screens, the prices start to immediately jump up really quickly. The best 4K TVs above 65 inches can climb almost $8,000. And even then, you're still not getting a 4K picture as large or immersive that you can get from a good projector and screen pairing. The LS800 and screen is one step closer to closing that gap between TVs and projectors and we think it will be a perfect solution for some people out there who want that immersion. If you can't decide what's right for your exact situation, reach out to our team at audioadvice.com or just give us a call and one of our experts will be happy to help you out and decide what's best for you. Now a front projection home theater is a great choice to give you that fully immersive experience, but not everyone has a room that you can dedicate to a front projector and give it the controlled lighting that they need for the best viewing experience. As a day-to-day -day television replacement, we think the LS800 Super Ultra Short Throw Laser Projector and the specially designed ALR screen are an incredible pairing and bundle for the money. If you have a room with a lot of sunlight, the LS800 offers a kind of performance we have come to expect from the very best modern TVs and will thrive in moderate to high ambient light settings. TV shows, HDR movies, and high performance video games really come alive on the big screen, and it's just so much fun once you experience it. All right, I hope this early look and overview of the new Epson LS800 and Silverflex ambient light rejecting screen has given you some better insight of what Epson's been up to and maybe just that perfect TV replacement for your room. Now, if you're not sure, chat or call with us at audioadvice.com or just stop by one of our award-winning showrooms and we'll be happy to help you out. If you are designing a home theater or media room, you definitely wanna use our free home theater design tool, which will show you exactly where to place all of your speakers, seats, and everything else. You can also check out our how-to videos, buyer's guides, inspiration gallery, and our famous videos with time lapses of different home theater build-outs. We also have a full YouTube playlist with test tones and patterns to help you set up and calibrate your system for optimal performance. All right, if you like this video, be sure to give it a like, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the notification so you don't miss out on any of our latest content. And leave a comment below. Is this the new TV replacement for living rooms? Is it really one step closer? Are you gonna be checking this one out? Let us know in the comments. We'll be happy to hear from you. We'll see you next time.